Hi there and welcome to today's video. And for today's video I'm going to be looking at something distinctly different from normal. And what I'm looking at at the moment is asking, answering the question how to write and finish a novel. And for all of you writers and aspirant writers out there, I'm just going to give you five, just five little uh, pointers to be looking at as far as, far as both starting and finishing your novel is concerned. Uh, first and foremost is give some thought ahead of time to what your plot is going to be. Writing a novel can be a very messy undertaking and the editing process will go a whole lot easier if you devote some time to outlining the plot in the beginnings in the in the beginning for some writers this means a full outline for others work better with index cards with putting a different scene on each index card still others will have a conflict and a general idea of what they plan to do outlined in their head um, and jot those couple of points down before just diving in. So first and foremost give some thought to your plot and your plot outline. The second item is once you get stuck into your writing process get that first draft done down and dusted as quickly as you possibly can and there I can speak from personal experience. Uh, the book that I was looking at writing and I set myself out the month of August to nail the whole thing down once and for all start finish the whole trip. Uh, got away late a little bit because as I was getting towards the end of August we were needing to move house and we now into the third week of September three weeks down the line I haven't gotten back to the manuscript of that first draft yet and the sad part about that is that when I left the, the project when I left the manuscript I guesstimate I was probably about a thousand or so a thousand thousand two hundred maybe a thousand five hundred words away from finishing that first manuscript and it's something that still bugs me on a daily basis but for all of you that have moved house, you know that arriving in a new place involves a whole lot of unforeseen challenges that require your ongoing attention on a daily basis. So that's what I've got going for me at the moment. I'm sitting with this manuscript that's literally a thousand to fifteen hundred words away from finish and it's something that's bugging me. So when you get stuck into getting your, your first draft going, get that first draft down and dusted as quickly as you possibly can. And because with ma many writers, you like the idea of maybe testing out your idea on other writers and getting feedback from them. Resist doing this at, on, at all costs until you've gotten that first complete draft down on paper. So instead of telling other people about your story, write the story down. Uh, and a brilliant project is uh, the the project of Nana Raimo, which is the uh, project of. Uh, where you get uh, writers across the entire United States get together, so to speak, in cy cyberspace. And for the month of November, the target is to write an entire novel in the month of November. And bearing in mind that the de definition of a novel is a minimum of 50,000 words. It's writing a 50,000 word first draft start to finish in the month of November. So by all means, check out NaNoWriMo and um, have a look into the competitions and such like that's associated with it. There are even writers groups that meet inside the space 
to give each other enthusiasm to be able to get through their writer's month of November. So I, I'm even thinking about looking into that myself. I've got this, as I mentioned, this, this manuscript that's almost done and dusted. It needs about another 1,000 to 1,500 words. I'm targeting the month of September to wrap that. And then, in all probability, I'll give myself an anorimo, uh, rhymo this, this month and tackle a new project for the month of November. As I'm sitting here at the moment, I've got the, an idea for a non-fiction book on the nutrition type of nature, but maybe shelve that for something to kick the new year off with, but tackle something in the fiction line um, for the month of November. At the moment, as I'm sitting here, I've got absolutely no idea of what I'll be writing, but it'll be interesting to see what transpires as I walk out in nature during the course of the month of September and what ideas come to me. But come the 1st of November, I'm going to be sitting at my keyboard, banging out as many words as possible. And bearing in mind, if you're looking at getting a 50,000 word uh, novel down for the month of November, you've got 30 days to do it. So you're going to be looking at needing to be consistent at about 1,700 words a day. And I know from my personal experience with the last book that I was working on, uh, from the point of view of writing consistency, it, I was finding it incredibly difficult with my day-to-day -day life to be able to be maintaining more than about 700 words a day. So to be looking at 1,700 words a day, that's a major undertaking. But I'm up for a challenge. So I'm going to give it a tonk, give it a go, come the 1st of November, I'm going to be sitting down and writing. As I mentioned at the moment, I've got no idea what I'm going to be writing, what direction that writing is going to be taking, but let's see how that develops. Then, point number three is be prepared to revise. Remember that your first draft is a first draft, and even... Uh, the great Ernest Hemingway, when referring to the first draft of anything that he wrote, is the, his words are, the first draft of anything is crap. So be prepared to make the assumption that your first draft will be crap. It will be clunky, it will be disorganized, and in all likelihood it will be confusing. Entire chapters will drag along, the dialogue will be unconvincing, and wooden. Rest assured, it's this way for all of us. So, like writers everywhere, you just have to roll off the punches, roll up your sleeves, and get to work rewriting it. Once you've done your rewrites, and your rewrites of rewrites, and your rewrites of rewrites of rewrites, and you get into the point where you're thinking that you're almost at the stage where you can start submitting this off to an agent. Now you're starting to get to the point where you need to start showing either your manuscript or parts of your manuscript to other writers that you trust. And in all likelihood, the type of feedback that you're going to be getting from your fellow writers and the ones that you can trust will be that your entire manuscript probably needs yet another rewrite. So, before getting onto the agent side of things, get in touch with a couple of other writers that you trust and share your manuscript with them and be prepared to be facing incredibly brutal feedback. The fifth item is, and this is an important factor to remember when it comes to your for instance, something like NaNoWriMo, which is the writer's month of November, is once you've written your first draft, you've edited it, you've revised it, you've shown it to a couple of your writer friend colleagues, and you think you are now at the point of whipping it off to the publisher. Now you've reached the time where you have to take that manuscript Put it away in a drawer and start your first draft of your next work. 
The reason why I'm saying that is starting the first draft of your next book takes your mind off this project in its entirety. And once you've done your first draft and your revision of your next project, now will be the time where you take your first project back out of the drawer, look at the entire project again with fresh eyes, and you'll be absolutely amazed at the improvements that you'll be able to bring to your manuscript once you've left it in the drawer for a month or so while you're working on the first draft of your next project. It's almost like by writing the first draft of your next project you would have grown as a writer and through that growth you'll be able to look at that manuscript even though it's about a month old with completely new and refreshed eyes. So that's those are my five tips that I will give you as far as how to be able to write and complete the next novel. So who's with me? Who's going to be signing up for a NaNoWriMo? N-A-N-O-W-R-I-M-O for the month of November. Even if you've never written anything in your life before, just use the opportunity to take some aspect of your life that you've maybe been struggling with and journal it. Get yourself a journal and write down each and every nuance and feeling about that experience that you had in your life and use that as a process to be able to achieve personal growth within your life. That's something that you can do as far as a writing project is concerned. It never needs to go any further than your own desk. But use NaNoWriMo as a way to get something down. 50,000 words for the month of November, and that's the target. Please post any comments, questions, criticisms that you have down below. If you're going to be lining up with me and going for NaNoWriMo for the month of November, post that down below as well. Maybe we can link up and give each other moral support online while we're both tackling our writing project for the month of November. So share this out amongst your friends. Thumbs up if you like this content, thumbs down if not, that way I know what to be putting out in the future. And last but by no means least, down below the screen over there is a big red subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button, stay subscribed to my channel for all the new content that will be coming out on a day-to-day, week-to-week basis. Stay carved up for the win, stay focused, and stay safe out there. I'll be seeing you next time. Cheers.